What is going on everybody? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you one of the best custom ROMs available and that is called Havoc OS. Okay so this is your home screen, nothing on the left at the moment. On the right this is where all your apps will show when you install them. Swiping up as usual this is where all your apps are going to be. Very minimalistic and the default file explorer is a maze. And we do have Magisk working, so root access is available. Now this is via browser. This is the default internet browser. And it does seem quite minimalistic. It works quite fast. And yeah, so obviously if you want to use Chrome, you're welcome to do that. Okay, now this is the launcher and it's called Launcher. And it seems very customizable. As you can see there's a wealth of options you have here and you can also add the app drawer if you want to as you can see here but this is a topic in and of itself. Alright so we're just going to have a look at the camera. This is the Google camera from the Play Store. It is very basic, nothing really to go into and yeah the pop-up camera is working as you can see here. All right, so with that out of the way, we'll go into settings. So we obviously have the usual Wi-Fi bits here. And I just want to show you that this is the Chinese model, which means NFC is available and it definitely works. And I've been told that the Indian model doesn't have NFC. Okay, just have a look at a few more things here. So this is Havoc settings. I will come back on that later on in the video. Going to display, you have the usual stuff here. So yeah, you have the screen sleep timer, advanced options. Okay, and let's just have a look at a few other settings. PHH treble settings. This seems something maybe developers should be looking at. I haven't seen that on other GSI ROMs. And we'll have a look at settings. So yeah, if you want to go into developer settings, it will be there. And you can obviously toggle such things such as uh, advanced reboot. Okay, so let's just go back to Havoc settings, which is the highlight of this ROM. And as you can see, there are so many options here, right from the top to the very bottom. So let's just have a look at the status bar settings. So there are options such as double tap the status bar to put the phone to sleep, quick pull down, battery percentage settings. Okay, so here you can have the percentage to show within the icon, color settings, and again you can have the percentage to show right next to the icon and it is bigger so you can see that more clearly. Okay, let's just back out and go into quick settings. And here, okay, so this is one thing I really like here. So these are the quick settings on the top. Now when you scroll down, there's only three. Now you can change that. So if I go on to the columns, and right now the default value is three. So I can change that just by scrolling to the right. So let's just put it on to five and swipe down. And as you can see, we've got five tiles here. And if you wanted to go to default, you just hold that and it will go back to the default settings. And you can also add the brightness slider now. So even if you want to have it or keep it away, the setting is there. And there's a whole bunch of other settings if you scroll down. Interface. So here you can actually change to dark mode. Let's have a quick look. Yep, and not only that, you can also change the color accent. So I'm just going to go with the red. And I believe it takes a few seconds for it to fully load up. Here we go. Okay, that was a bit glitchy, but yeah, as you can see, black on red looks quite good. But um, I think I'll go back to the default settings and keep it uh, white for now. So it's more easier to watch this video at the moment and again there's a whole lot of options when you go down so 
So here you can change the icon style as well. This section has a lot of settings. Let's just go up and have a look at one more. So here you can change the icon shape as well. Let's head back out. And we'll go into screen. This looks a bit advanced. Again, it's something probably not worth uh, playing around with. Buttons. Okay, so this gets interesting. With the uh, power button, you can add more options. So right now, as you can see, there are only three options here. Now you can put on screenshot, flashlight, airplane mode. And as you can see, all of these icons will show here. And the screenshot works as you can see there. Advanced reboot. So if you were to click that, it will take you to recovery, bootloader, reboot the phone. And you can uh, customize some of the uh, navigation bar buttons. So long press will probably take you to the last app, home, or anything really. Now moving on to the navigation bar. So this is using the um, Android Q style, I believe, the navigation bar at the moment. So if I change the gesture or disable the gesture mode, so let me just show you how that quickly works right now. So swiping up brings up your recent panel. And if I swipe, you can uh, switch between apps that you have opened before. Now if I disable that, we have the classic navigation bar. And this is what I actually prefer. So as before, you have the recent panel. There's also an option for one handed mode and there's options to change the navigation bar styles. Again, we'll leave that out for now. Okay, so gestures. Here are some of the options that's available. One thing I like is using the um, three finger swipe down to take screenshots. It works very good and it is very convenient. Lock screen. So again, um, we have the double tap to sleep, the, the widgets option, the weather options, a whole lot of options really. And as I mentioned earlier, the video will get too long if I go into everything. Okay, so recents. Now if I change that to stock, one of the major bugs with this GSI ROM is that the selfie camera will pop out when the phone reboots. Now you can't tap the camera so it retracts like you would do on MIUI 10. As you can see here, the uh, recent view has changed. And there's a whole lot of other options there. Not going to go into that right now. Notifications. So here we have charging LED, notification LED. And since this is a GSI ROM, there will be a lot of options that will not work on the K20 Pro as these ROMs generally support a whole lot of other phones. Animations. Okay, one thing I wanted to show is the screen off animation. So this is the default one, fade. We have CRT and we have scale. As you can see, the fingerprint unlocker, not the best right now. Now let's go to CRT. And that was my favorite. Um, I'm not exactly sure which version of Android that was. Maybe KitKat, maybe one of you can correct me. And this is a whole bunch of options at the bottom. Let's leave that for now. So we have system, signature spoofing, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Then we have CPU info and it will show you all the CPU cores. Then we have burn-in protection, not seen that in any other ROMs. Input settings, not sure why that is here as that is available in the normal settings. Miscellaneous. Okay, so we have gaming mode here. Let's just go into that. 
and as you can see you can block no uh, notifications um, here you can add the games that you want so I don't have any games installed right now so you can add or remove a game for the gaming mode and if you scroll down we have some of the options for screen capture screen recording quality high and the screenshot type full or partial going into about and thanks to these developers and contributors Havoc OS ROM was made possible and here is a list of uh, phones that officially supported by Havoc OS and their developers and this is the change log if you want to see what has been changing in each of the builds and donate so if you want to help out the developers you can donate via PayPal so that pretty much covers it for the Havoc OS settings I'm just gonna go into YouTube as some users have said that videos tend to lag that is not the case with this ROM let's just find a video one punch man Let's get into full screen and as you can see there is no lag at all. Another thing I wanted to show you is that the phone does work with fast charging. Here is a Nintendo Switch USB charger and as you can see it is showing charging rapidly. One of the major bugs with this GSI ROM is that the selfie camera will pop out when the phone reboots. Now you can't tap the camera so it retracts like you would do on MIUI 10. So what you will have to do is let the phone fully reboot. I'm just going to speed up the video here. Then you will have to open the camera app and then press the selfie button twice so that the camera will retract. However, there is a workaround. You can install a Magisk module which will prevent the selfie camera from popping out during a reboot. So that does it for this Havoc OS ROM overview. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If it is your first time here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. The next one will hopefully be the Pixel Experience ROM. I did not make a video on that yet because the older ROMs work at the moment. As soon as the developer has the newer builds working, I will release that video. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.